Striper, no rest for the wicked. This is the CBT guitar lesson for Kevin B. What a killer song. This is off the new Striper album. Striper, look, man, they can't write a bad album. They just, they're always on their A game, right? Constantly. Now, uh, Kevin, you didn't want the solo to this. Killer solo, by the way, but I get it. It's it's pretty tough. It's got that, to me, that solo has kind of a uh, Malmsteen Rising Force era when they had Jeff Scott Soto. Just really uh, super cool. But this whole song, man, rhythmically, it's solid. And um, tuning, D standard or double flat. Um, we got a little slide in coming off 7A, go up to 19. Just, you know, don't overthink that. You just want to go. Our main groove, section 1A, two seconds in. Top string open. Hit it, and then hit it two times palm muted. And then we're going to go to F and E on our power chords. That's 8, 10, A, D. Strum it. Slide it over to 7, 9. And then do it again without sliding. So That's kind of the mini subgroup or the groove, so to speak. And then uh, you start the opens over again. And then the chords change. D, which is 5, 7, A, D. Slide to 7, 9. 810 slide to 79 so we have and then back to the first little subgroup with uh, what I call a an A ending so open E palm mute twice 57 AD open E palm mute once 35 AD sounds like this so that's really your groove. And then that's the midpoint of section 1A. It starts over for the first three subgroups. So you'll go. Oops. That little B ending now um, is different. You'll go after you do the. Uh, then, then you're gonna end up going. Uh, dang it! Well, it's two times of all that. My bad. Later on, we're gonna have a reference that changes that a bit. But it is gonna go open E palm mute, and then a C to a D. So it's reversed from the first one, which is D to C. So. It's on the accent. Bang, bang. So that's really your, your main groove for this. Then the verse section, 30 seconds in, I just titled it section 1B. D to E on our power chords. So 5, 7 to 7, 9 on the A and D. Rest slide. That's a long count. It's a 7 count. Then you'll go C to D. Slide. Right back to the C. So 3 5 AD, slide to 5 7, and jump right back to 3 5. So it sounds like this. I know it's a lot of time passing, but you got to keep the beat in your head. And then uh, back to the D. This time, slide to E, rest, and then slide off of it. And then we're going to go. String mutes E A to a C power chord, third A, 5D. And then repeat it with a 57 A D. And that's it for that section. Section 1C, 44 seconds in. I love this part. The second time through they end up harmonizing it. It's just a play off of the intro. It goes. So 
palm mute open E four times, eight seven eight seven on the A. Repeat the opens, but go five seven eight seven on the A. Then go back to the first part, eight seven eight seven. So they all start with this chun 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 chun, the open E palm muted four times. <laughs> then palm mute open E twice, play a D power chord, that's 5 7 A D. Open E palm mute once, pinch harmonic, vibrato rest 3 A. The mouthful, right? All the words I said, but that if you know how to do a pinch harmonic and a vibrato, you'll get it. Two times, second time, no star. The star so happens to be this. Instead, you're just going to hit a power chord, 3A, 5D. It'll be... Um, and that'll be it on that second time through. Section 1D, 58 seconds in. I believe this is the course. And a lot of rock metal bands play the G like this. I call it the rock G. And there's several ways to play the rock G. Three mute open open. Top four. Open two, A, D. And then three, five, E, A to open E. So we have. Oh yeah, that's okay, okay. Yeah. up to 58 seconds in. I've got to hear something. It's going to drive me batty if I don't, Kevin. Here we go. Okay, right there. Yeah, it's... So you'll go 3-5 EA to open E. 7 pull 6 D 7 A. Palm mute the open E twice. And then go 5 pull 4 D 5 A. And then 5 7 7 on the A. So. Three times of that, okay? Um. So after the third time, you'll go to the rock G, to the A5 power chord, and then you hit repeats at minute 23 in. There'll be a C and a D power chord at the end there. Bunch of repeats at 137, but at 158, the rock G. Or, kind of a Zach Wild thing. 5E pick. And then half step, bend, release, that's a one fret. Palm mute, three E, and then go five, three, pinch, vibrato. So it's. Then this part again. But this time on the end of it, instead of going, he'll pick the five on the A, hammer seven, pick seven. And then 216 in, you'll go. It's a B power chord. 24 AD, strum, chunk, chunk. That's our palm mute. Twice. And then strum, and then go to C5. So third and fifth fret. And then 24 palm mute, open A palm mute. 24 to open two. And then right back to the B5, just like before, and then C, D, which is 3, 5 to 5, 7. So we have... Section 1A is the 223 timestamp, no star. And you'll have an accent of an E power chord six times. It'll be six times. 
the rhythm for the solo that's RFS at 237 it's the 24 AD three times and then the string mutes down up AD two four three five on our chords and then two four palm muted to open four palm muted and then two four to open two so and then top of page four this is all going on behind the solo right back to the three times on the two four then go mute down up down up the last up will be a 5-7. And then a 3-5. So that second half is... Ah, let's do it again. And then you'll do that four times. The second and fourth time, where the star is, reverse the chords. Instead of going... You'll just be going... That'll come in on the second and fourth. So if we're on the fourth one, we're going. Or, three oh six time stamp. It's an E power chord twice. Open two E A, and then seventeenth fret E, just descending slide. Section two A three oh nine in. It's kind of the ending of the song here. Um, 3 5 EA twice to 5 7 EA twice. Um, string mutes A, D, and G, down up, down up, to an open E string. So. Now those are the same. The but at the end, five slide seven and then pick it twice. Rock G. And this Zach Wild riff. Palm mute open E. And then open A, pick. Hammer one, pull open. Palm mute three E. Open A. And then pinch harmonic vibrato three E. In context, it's then back to this rock G. You can add the three B on it. Open E to an A power chord at three twenty five, and then hit it again and go three E vibrato. Back to this. Rock G, A5 power chord, and then slide off the 15 E, and then this is new. Let's see. Oh yeah. So 5 7 slide to 7 9, and then palm mute the E six times. And then go 5 7 E A, slide to 6 E. Palm mute 5, 7, 3, 5. And then go 5, 7. Er. And then, so I'll strum it four times. Uh, palm mute the second, third, and fourth. And then, check this out. So G power chord, 3, E, 5, A. Strum, chunk, chunk, strum, chunk. And then an open two, palm muted on the E, A. A power chord, strum, chunk, chunk, strum, three E vibrato. So we have. Back to that five seven A D slide to seven nine, four palm mutes open on the low E. You'll do it twice, and then the third time, slide it and strum the chord twice. Okay, G power chord, 3, 5, E, A, strum, chunk, chunk, strum, chunk, chunk. No pinch on that, but you can. It's that Zach Wilde thing, so... Have 
this again. But he changes the ending. <laughs> So the ending, check it out. You'll slide up. One, two, three, four palm mutes up top. Start it again. Two palm mutes up top. And then go seven, nine, D, and G. Palm mute open E once. Back to seven, nine, D, G. To five, seven, D, G vibrato. So that little outro sounds like this. And then section 2A from the star leading into at four minutes and one second in an A power chord. Open A, 2D, strum, chunk, chunk, strum, chunk, chunk. Repeat the 216 timestamp, which is the that whole thing. I um, mean, coming off of it, just slide from 17A. Actually, it's. Five power chord that's open to E and A string. And there you have it. There it is. All right, killer song. You got another one coming, Kevin? Um, and you were asking if I listened to the rest of the Striper album. Most of it. Man, there's so many killer songs on this uh, new Striper album. So uh, appreciate you, man. Thanks.